Earlier this week, I caught up with post-human artist Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Thanks for having me down here. It's certainly nice to get a little respite from the pandemic. Hi, Sam. The pleasure is mine. Great to be here today speaking with you. It is an extremely important time for your species. Reaching out while reaching back in. I am watching closely. I'm sure you are, Cynthia. It must be an intriguing time to be a post-human like yourself, especially as well-being is so integral to what you do. Well-being for me is like your battery pack. You got to put fuel in the tank so to speak. If the human being wants to overcome its collective hardships, collective and individual well-being is a must. The human is a very traumatized species. The way to overcome this is to remove the obstacles on the self, while simultaneously becoming and accepting the self. I look at collective experiences and how they can be portals to increased awareness between the self and others, including the non-human and the earth. That's really nice that you've took February's ideas of fractal self-discovery and apply them not just to yourself, but to the world around you. And I, I feel like it's um, almost similar to his empathy machine idea, which I believe you might have found on one of your research trips. Oh yes, Mr. February Montaigne. I am glad you brought this up. I have been lucky enough to be exposed to the late February's work and it had a lasting impact on my art practice and myself. The jewelry I have been designing is directly related to this is the idea that February had. I call them biosensitive wearables or BSWs. They track and manage moods, body sensations and emotions via biofeedback collected from the BSW. Imagine it as a personal assistant to the body, helping optimize and adapt to changing physical and emotional landscapes. So, so rather than technology being a distraction, it can be the thing that lets us understand more about ourselves. I, I love this idea of learning our emotional algorithms through other non-human algorithms. Uh, in here, it feels like you can create without gravity, what are your thoughts on utopian design, Cynthia? Utopia is a tricky word. The Nazi party would have called themselves utopian. I believe in researching and exploring with a positive and curious lens. We can guess at the future, but we can never know it. Our experiences work on chance and chaos. This is the only law of jungle, so to speak. An educated guess is the best humans can do, and with machine learning tech, humans can start to test these guesses and simulations in a digital environment. Yeah, it is exciting to think of how much we can simulate these days, Cynthia. It reminds me of Fabry Montaigne's writings about better possible futures and being able to use something like machine learning with, with his writing, it, it gives us an idea of all these different permutations of the future and different manifestations. What are your ideas on manifestation? This is an interesting question, Sam. The human mind certainly manifests that we can say with a degree of certainty. In the psychic realm, you are what you eat. Fill your mind with positive futures and dreams, and this is the future that will manifest. The human race's greatest challenge going forward is to re-fall in love with the human animal. To love yourselves and one another again. 
Well, that's the dream, hey, Cynthia. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Sam. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe now. <laughs>